we're going to look at the technique of interpolation but before I do I'm just going to look at what we mean by interpolation and I'm going to start with this set of discrete data and ask you to find the median value well that's quite straightforward the first thing we would do as is already the case here is order the data then we would find the value of the middle term uh, and in this case it's 1.4 here however we have a set of grouped data and this causes us a problem because we don't know what the original values of these five terms were all we know is that they lie somewhere between 8 and 9 kilograms so if we wanted to find the middle value of this grouped data we have to approach it in quite a different way and this is the idea behind interpolation we just assume that the data is evenly spread out as shown here between 8 and 9 kilograms now don't worry about the specific figures uh, and how it's laid out because we're going to look at how we actually carry out the interpolation shortly but this is just to give you an idea of what's going on so we have five terms we want to find the value of the middle term so that will be the 2.5th term 2.5th term is here and that would equate to 8.5 kilograms which may be just what you expected um, where we've used figures that are quite straightforward in this case so I'm going to demonstrate the method of interpolation when we're dealing with this grouped frequency table and we always use interpolation when the data is grouped or when it's continuous data now the first thing that I would uh, advise you to do is add a third column for cumulative frequency um, because that will be useful uh, later on the first step is to find the position of the term we're interested in and we're interested in the median so we want to find what position the middle term is in now when we work with grouped data like this the technique is different to how we would find the position using discrete data it's easier because to find the middle position um, which is the median which we'll call M we simply divide by 2 uh, and that tells us that what we're interested in is the tenth term this is quite different to how we would treat discrete data where if there were 20 discrete pieces of data we would divide by 2 and then because this was a whole number we would find the middle value between the tenth and the eleventh term but when we're dealing with grouped data it's all very straightforward if I wanted to find the first quartile or the lower quartile as we sometimes call it I would simply divide by 4 and that would tell me it was the fifth term and if I wanted to find the upper quartile or the third quartile I would simply divide by four and times by three uh, and so that would be the fifteenth term step two is to draw a representation of the group which contains the term we're interested in and in our case it's the tenth term the first thing we've got to do is find out which of these groups the tenth term actually resides in and it's helpful uh, to draw a diagram of all the groups so there are three groups here and I've represented them with these three intervals so we can see the first group contains 1.2 to 1.3 kilograms the second group 1.3 to 1.4 kilograms and the third group 1.4 to 1.5 kilograms we can see there's five uh, terms in the first group 
10 in the second bringing our total to 15 and 5 in the third group bringing the total up to 20 terms and so it's easy to see that the tenth term resides in this middle group so I'm going to concentrate on that middle group and draw a representation with the uh, boundaries so the lower boundary is 1.3 kilograms the upper boundary 1.4 and it starts at the fifth term and ends on the 15th. So now I'm going to use interpolation. I'm going to add to the diagram uh, roughly where I think my tenth term will be. It's only a sketch, it doesn't have to be uh, exact and won't affect the calculation. Uh, and I'll label this as the tenth term uh, and I don't know what the value is so I'll call this M for median now this is what uh, the technique of interpolation relies upon that I do know to get to the tenth term I've moved this far along compared to this total distance and in just the same way to get to the median I've moved this far along out of this total distance and you may be able to see that these are uh, proportionate um, the intervals so I can view them as equivalent fractions. So if I label the intervals I can set them up as equivalent fractions. So A over B is equivalent to C over D. And so now I can substitute the values uh, that I know. So the interval A is 5, the interval B is 10, and for C I have to show uh, the unknown. So I, the interval would be M minus 1.3. and the interval D is 0 0.1 and then if I multiply both sides uh, by 0 0.1 so that will be uh, a half times 0 0.1 would give me 0 0.05 equals M minus 1.3 and if I add 1.3 to both sides I'll find that M is equal to 1.35 and this may be just what you expected um, but it shows that the process works in less simple cases